Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day, and this is integral number five in our countdown to 2026, 10 integrals in 10 days. So we have the indefinite integral of sine of x to the sixth plus cosine of x to the sixth over sine squared x times cosine squared x dx. So pause the video, try it on your own. I know there's tons of different approaches for how to play around with the integrand using trig identities. So various paths may lead to different looking answers that we know are all equivalent, just as a reminder. Okay, so what I did was I went into the numerator and I noticed that we can rewrite sine of x to the sixth plus cosine of x to the sixth as a sum of cubes, right? So technically that's sine squared x cubed plus cosine squared x and if you need a reminder on what your formula is to factor a sum of cubes, it's as follows. So a cubed plus b cubed factors into a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And I always tell my students, think of soap. So if it's a sum of cubes, this has the same sign, opposite sign, and then the last one's always positive. Okay, so let's apply that formula now and factor the numerator and see if anything lovely emerges. So we're gonna get, remember in this case, A is sine squared X and B is cosine squared X. So we'll have sine squared X plus cosine squared X. Oh me, oh my, I'm so excited already. Sine squared squared, that would be sine to the fourth of X minus sine squared X cosine squared X plus cosine to the fourth of X. Okay, so I'm gonna replace my numerator with all of this and look at that, that's already a one. So things are simplifying like a dream. Here we go. So upstairs we have sine to the fourth x minus sine squared x cosine squared x plus cosine to the fourth x over sine squared x cosine squared x dx. Okay, and then from here, you're pretty much home free. I think what should inspire you is that we see again this sine squared x cosine squared x up in the numerator. So what I'm gonna do is split this into three terms. So now my integrand is sine to the fourth x over sine squared x cosine squared x minus sine squared x cosine squared x over same thing and then cosine to the fourth x over sine squared x cosine squared x dx. Okay, lovely. And then from here we can simplify. So we'll have sine squared x over cosine squared x since this sine squared cancels out. Whoop, whoop. And then this is just gonna be one, love it, love it. Plus what else cancels here? Oh yeah, cosine squared's gone. This is now a two. So we've got cosine squared x over sine squared x. All right, now what do we do? Let's see, so we've got integral. This is tangent squared x minus one plus, oh, it's cousin cotangent squared x dx. Do we know antiderivative of tangent squared or cotangent squared? No, so we're gonna use Pythagorean identity to weasel our way there. So tan squared, replace that with secant squared x minus one. Then you still have that minus one there. Plus cotangent squared is cosecant squared x minus one dx. So all together now, I've got secant squared x plus cosecant squared x minus three dx. And then you could just go integrate term by term and be on your merry little way. So this will be tangent x minus cotangent x minus 3x plus c and voila okay i really love this problem because this is where ai does you dirty if you try to look up the solution depending on you know what kind of integral calculator you like you're gonna get some really bizarre methods <laughs> especially at this step here when the remainder of the problem is super straightforward and you can get here in very few steps, nothing wild occurred. But it's just always a good reminder 
And as my colleague, Dr. Gupta says all the time, when a student tries to show some solution that was obviously done by AI, no human would do this. They can sometimes produce the most convoluted solution techniques because it's all algorithmically based, you know. So never underestimate the power of the human mind and the ability to solve math elegantly. There is no elegance in the AI. Okay, little speech over. How did you do? If you take a wonky path or maybe you play around with the original integrand differently, you could end up with an equivalent answer. So let me know in the comments down below what you have. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this integral of the day. And I hope, Mr. Santini, you didn't hate it as much as yesterday's because I know you didn't like playing around with the trig that way. All right. Thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V. And I'll be back tomorrow with your next integral. Bye.